my first delivery of 2022, so let's do an unboxing. As you can probably tell by the box, it is from my friends at Wilson. I have been a Wilson player for about three years now, which is mad. I use the staff model ball, which I absolutely love. And I'm a full bag Wilson, except from one club. And that's how I know what's in this box. And that one club is my putter. The reason I don't have a Wilson putter at the moment is because I have a serious attachment to my current putter. I have had it since I was 18, so that's, I'm not actually going to tell you how many <laughs> years it's been in my bag, but over plus 10 years, it has been all over the world with me, and yeah, it's my old faithful. So let's tell you a little bit about it. Let's tell, talk to you a little bit about my putting style because I get so many comments about this putter and the way that I putt. Shout out to Clutch for the head cover, still obsessed with it. Let's talk about my technique first, as that seems to get quite a few comments. I have been putting this way since I started playing golf when I was 14, so that's since 2004. I get quite a few comments of people saying, does your back not hurt? Why do you putt like Michelle Wee? Why are you so bent over? Like, that can't be comfortable. The reason I do it is because my first ever golf coach told me I needed to have my eyes over the ball when I was putting and I guess I just took it literally. But the reason I like it still to this day is I like the wide stance as it helps me with stability. I like the feeling of keeping my elbows as close to my body, keeping them tucked, which allows me to keep the V in my forearms so there's not any breakages in my wrist or anything like that that's gonna alter the club face. So it's that straight back, straight through uh, putting thought that I have. And then with me being so bent over, the reason I really like that is I'm a really visual golfer. So when I go behind the golf ball and I'm lining up my ball to aim to where I want it to go, when I then got my eyes over the ball, I can almost still read down that line and visualize the ball over and over again going in that direction and hopefully ending up in the hole and that visualization really helps me and is probably where I get the confidence from my putting but I did it before Michelle Wee did in 2004 so maybe she took it from me highly unlikely but I have been putting like that for a very long time and it's just how I putt and it works for me so if it ain't broke don't fix it <laughs> this is kind of my thought process now let's talk about my putter. My putter is a white hot from Odyssey. It is a custom, so I couldn't really tell you what the exact model is. It Probably the closest to it right now is the Rossi. So you'll see that there are no markings on the bottom of it. The face, you know, has the Odyssey white hot markings there. You've got Odyssey on the back, and then you've got the one alignment line right there. It also has the short hosel, which I guess is just my preference. I really like it. I got it from a friend when I was really struggling with my putting. He's about the same height as me, unfortunately for him. Um, I'm 5'4". So the last comment that I get, obviously, is about the length. This putter is 32 inches and I just fell in love with it as soon as I started using it. And yeah, I think that has a lot to do with it. And of course, I get comments of, is it a junior putter? It is not a junior putter. To be fair, there's quite a few juniors that are probably taller than me, but yeah, 32 inches. I I really like this length of putter, and when I ever use a putter that's a little bit too long for me, if it's, well, longer than this, which isn't hard, if it's like in a rental set or something that I'm using, I always choke down on the grip, just because that's, when I'm so bent over, I like this length of putter. As I mentioned, I have had this putter in my bag for a really long time and Wilson have sent me putters in the past and it's just not been the right fit for me. I'm just, you know, constantly going to go back to my old faithful, but they think they have made me a putter that will replace this in the bag. So I guess there's only one last thing to do and that is to open this up and take a look. I am concerned that it's not going to be 32 inches. I really hope that it is because 
I just really like that length but I know that obviously means there's going to be like weighting issues and I don't want a putter that's like ridiculously light but yeah so let's open this up and see what it looks like. I'm actually really nervous because I you know I want to love it I want to be a full bag Wilson but and it's nothing against Wilson because the putters that they've sent me previously have been fantastic. You know, I've used them on the course and they have been good and it's just not been as consistent and just not the same feel. I think that that's kind of, I guess, what happens when you've been playing golf for so long, you just get comfortable. <sighs> okay, so first impressions, I don't hate it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think that's 32 inches, which already makes me super happy. I know it looks ridiculously short, but it's what I like. And yeah, already a tick in the first box. Now onto the grip. It's chunkier than the one that I currently have on my putter, but I had this on a putter previously sent by Wilson and I really, really liked it. So I'm happy about that. And I also love the color of it too. The head of the putter is the Grant Park head, which is as close to the mallet that I currently have as you're gonna really get. It is an all black finish, which I absolutely love. It looks really cool, love the face there. And then obviously you've got three alignment lines there. The weight of it feels good. Um, obviously it looks good and I know that that's you know, it can't be everything. It's got to perform on the golf course too, but I like the putter to look good as well because, you know, look good, play good, I guess. First impression of the putter, I am really happy with it. I think it looks fantastic. I love the Grant Park head, the all black finish. The grip is also really cool. I know that I love this grip because I've used it previously. The weight of it feels really, really good. And I guess there's only one thing I need to do and that's get it in the bag and get it on the golf course and see if it means divorce to my odyssey and if this is going to be my new putter for 2022 comment below and let me know if you think that this one's going to be the winner or do you think the odyssey is going to stay in the bag